praise the most high today, family. <laughs> Hallelujah. What a grand day it is. Beautiful day. We do have weather here in the Carolinas. Quite rainy. It's been raining all morning. Pretty much overnight. And it's flooding a lot of areas. I think the most high is he, he's keeping us safe. We're able to get to our jobs safely and getting them, getting them done and getting them in. <laughs> Praise the most, I like this idea. Family, it is an absolute joy being able to speak for the most high. And as I said in the prior recording, he told me you needed a testimony. Folks won't really listen to you unless they can see some scars, some war scars. See that you've really been through something with the Most High, know him for real, for real. <laughs> and know you ain't shucking and job. Praise the Most High. And family, that takes us right into our idea for today. I was heading in another direction. But let's look, let's peep at that. And what we'll do is read these notes and, and head back into the other direction that the Most High has le just led us into, we'll put it that way. We wrote in our notes early this morning, it's time to stop shucking and jiving ourselves. And these are my personal beliefs. And I promise you, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I don't, um... Never tell somebody else what to believe because I know that if you'll watch my recordings, you'll see that I have matured in some of my beliefs, as all of our people have. And as I heard another ox saying, we all have made mistakes because of our zeal for the most high. And he told me something, family. I'm going to say this before I read these notes. He said, if you notice the people that's really coming into this awakening or this remembrance of who our people are. They're the people that's really been on fire for me the, the whole while. Even when, when they was in the Christian church, <laughs> like we said before, they will be the ones that does everything and everybody will sit back and just watch me. Like, okay, that's, that's old brother Holloway. He gonna do it. <laughs> he gonna sweep the um, floors. He gonna clean the bathrooms. Oh boy. Praise the most high. He was like, those are the people that have really been sick in my face and they're the ones that's, that's been awakened or being given the privilege to remember who our people are as the text says we will come to remember ourselves in the land of our captivities. But like I said, these are my personal beliefs and if we come on this channel trying to speak against this, then we're going to block you or whatever we got to do to erase your comments or whatever. Because we don't want to give people the wrong impression of what we believe. And that it's okay. But the 12 tribes chart is a form of what them folks call inclusion. Which is to give us folks a bogus sense that we are actually a real part of their system. However, we are not. <laughs> And never will be. And we don't want to be. Now that we know better. But that's what that 12 tribes chart is. It's a form of trying to include everybody else into your struggle. In hopes that you'll get a, a win. Still trying to depend on men. Like we spoke in a prior recording. Like when we was up in them rooms. You had everybody patting you on the back. Giving you them hugs. Get a chip. And you feel pretty good about yourself to say no for another day or so. But the problem is when them folks ain't around, what you gonna do when that liquor go calling you? What you gonna do when that weed come calling you? What you gonna do when that cold bill come calling you? And even worse, what you gonna do when that old gal come calling you? That old bo come calling you? You gonna submit if you don't have the most high right there with you. Say he'll never leave us or forsake you. Forsake us. He's right there through, through it all. Whatever voice come in your head, he's there to tell you, no, Robert, don't do that. And then you speak up, no, I'm not going to do that. And finally, in this, 
this idea, we was gonna get all the way into it, but since the most I brought it up, we gotta stop loving the system that keeps a foot on our necks while at the same time, a hand in our pockets. We gotta stop loving this system that keeps a foot on our necks while at the same time, a hand in our pocket. See, that's part of their inclusion thing. They want you to be the face of their inclusion. <laughs> but as you will notice, just like we spoke about them Christians, them own five Christians, as we used to be in the church, we would do everything, and that's what they want us to do, do everything. Be the face of our inclusion. But you'll notice you're just doing all the work and not, not getting no part of the, the system. They may give you a dollar or two more, but you're not really um, being a part of this inclusion they're talking about. Praise the Most High family. We're going we're gonna to head back into the direction the Most High was leading me into just now. And it came off a comment from my sister, Trudina Brown. And let's read what she said. She said, yes, sir. But let patience have her perfect work that you be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And that's James 1 and 4. She said, teach it. Shalom, shalom. Praise the Most High for that. Coming from our sister. And this is what we wrote back to her. Shalom, my sister Trudina. And praise our other God today. I was just contemplating this patience thing again last night or early this morning. And, I, and how it has become easier waiting on the Most High to act as I continue to give him my every concern slash word. He then unpeels each of them like an onion right before our eyes or my eyes. When I was in the hospital, the doctors kept coming back telling me that they found something else wrong with my body and that they needed to do another surgery or give me a different type of medication. During the process, I got out of belief and worry for a brief second and went to Abba saying, Pop, I'm tired of these folks steady coming to me with something else. He whispered in my ear, Robert, have you noticed that every time something comes up, we knock it down? And every time something else comes up, we knock that down too. I said, we, you are, you the one doing all the heavy lifting. He said, without your belief, I couldn't do a thing on your behalf. We are a team. We must endure hardship as, a, as good soldiers. Told our sis for the reminder, I needed it. And just as I was um, contemplating this idea and what we was going to speak on this morning, the most I reminded me of what a good soldier, how he endures hardship. See, family, a good soldier is not going to get up and try to run away from the battle. <laughs> oh, boy. He's not going to go complaining to his, his officer, his commanding officer. See, his commanding officer is just that. He gives commands. And as a good soldier, you just follow the orders. You say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. Depending on the question. But nine times out of ten, it better be a yes, sir. And that's how it is with our father. But as we just saw here, he's very compassionate. He will listen to us. But he's not going to back down off what he said about us. And he's not going to let us back down off off of our stance, our faith or belief stance in him, if we'll listen to him now. Because a lot of times we'll stop listening and get into flesh, like I did there, and at least I went to him instead of complaining to my wife, complaining to the doctors, or complaining to anybody else. Because I've been getting out of my belief and complaining, which we've been talking about here in the secret place a whole lot more lately about complaining. But that soldier, even though he's he's hurt, he gonna keep fighting. He may get hit with a bullet. He say, "Don't worry about it. Wrap it up, and I keep fighting. Get my gun." 
or give him my weapon. We was taught not to never call it a gun. It's a weapon. So give me my weapon. And you get back to fighting or get back to doing what you was told to do. You follow orders. Until you can't. Physically, you can't. And that's when we out of here. That's when the most I say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Rem reminder from yesterday or the prior recording, good and faithful servant. Like a good soldier, you're serving. You're enduring this hardship. No, it's not fun, family, where we're at right now. No, it's not fun. But it gets a little bit easier every day. And I must say, it gets exciting. What's next? <laughs> What's next? How is the Most High going to deliver us out of them all today? <laughs> out of them all, family. Can you hear that? Many are the um, afflictions of the righteous, but the Most High delivers us, delivers us out of them all. So no matter what's going on, it's going to be okay. And no matter what's going on, it's gonna be alright No matter No matter what's going on It's gonna be okay With tears in your eyes You keep on singing No matter what's going on Yeah, it's gonna make a way Yes, he is Yes, indeed, family Trust him Continue to trust him and that's all we're going to do today. Just give this word of encouragement. That no matter what you see, don't take your eyes off him. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Mm -mm -mm. Praise the Most High family. Hallelujah. Stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom. Yes, indeed.